हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन अगेन यू आर वेलकम इन आवर क्लास टेंथ आर बी एस सी यस्टरडे वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड आवर चैप्टर द टेल ऑफ दिस नोइज गॉट इट आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट सो नाउ वट आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू द स्टोरी वी कैन से ए हीरो टाइटल द टाइटल शोज दैट यू नो टाइटल कंसिस्ट ऑल द थिंग्स ऑफ द चैप्टर you know it is also very important that uh, we can understand how put the chapter can be understood by us by uh, we can say getting the title a hero here it is a story of a young chap whose name is swami got it and he was living his life peacefully but according to him he was living his life peacefully but according to his father he was not living his life peacefully because the boy was called he was not having any dare to face the things actually this habit was given to him by his grandmother and mother but the father wanted to make him brave so the total story we can say we are going to read that it is also based on the boy swami swami and his father is that clear understand so in this story father wanted to make him brave but the boy you know he was so afraid of the apparition we can say the ghost all all these type of things that these are known as a superstitions in our uh, we can say surroundings you know society is that clear so now we are going to read and these are the new words lot of new words are also there in your book but the most important words was i have given to you because within a one day and that is impossible to complete the chapter is that clear so you should uh, get me properly and so try to understand what i am going to teach you is that clear so the the story start with a encounter with a tiger of a boy of a village lad and this story is narrated by the father of his, uh, by the father to his son because he was reading a newspaper in the morning then it was going smoothly and one the father wanted to make aware his son that uh, these type of people are also living in the society who had no fear of the ghost or we can say all tigers and these are things also okay but the boy was uh, you know so we can say we can uh, upset about the story that uh, something bad happened with him he was also involved with his uh, with, a, with a great discussion with his father about the tiger who faced a boy or we can say a boy who faced the tiger then the father decided to make him fearless how he would this uh, we can say decide and how what he would do in the chapter we will discuss but you know the all always you are also having the protector in your family like your mother grandmother hai na wo hamesha aap logo ki aap logo ko aur protective feel karwa dete hain wo zyada aur protective ho jate hain tumhare prati aur fir wo bachche ko bigad bhi dete hain in that same way when father uh, we can say made swami to become fearless his mother also trying to stop him and his grandmother also trying to stop him whom the father so before we are going to complete the chapter it is also good for us that we should know about the writer the writer is you know of the chapter is r k narayan we also seen in the uh, we can see in television uh, malgudi days you should also see the stories aajkal unki r k narayan ki malgudi days के ऊपर एक एपिसोड आता है यू कैन सी दैट वेरी ब्यूटीफुल स्टोरी जी एज रिटर्न एंड सारी की सारी रिलेटेड टू द विलेजेस ओके द नॉर्मल लाइफ ऑफ द पीपल द ऑल द स्टोरीज आर रिलेटेड टू द नॉर्मल लाइफ ऑफ द पीपल दैट इज व्हाई आर के नारायण बोर्न ऑन टेंथ अक्टूबर 1906 जीरो सिक्स वॉज ए लीडिंग राइटर ऑफ इंडियन इंग्लिश राइटिंग मोस्ट ऑफ हिज वर्क आर शेट इन द फिक्शनल साउथ इंडियन टाउन ऑफ मालगुडी यानी फिक्शनल मीन्स दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन टोटली ऑन इमेजिनेशन फिक्शन वो होता है जो हमेशा इमेजिनेशन के ऊपर लिखी जाती है स्टोरीज इंडियन टाउन ऑफ मालगुडी विच वॉज फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस इन स्वामी एंड फ्रेंड्स हिज फेमस नॉवल द गाइड हैज बीन वॉन इन टू द हिंदी फीचर फिल्म गाइड हिंदी मूवी है गाइड देवानंद की बहुत ही अच्छी मूवी है उसका जो नॉवल है उसी के ऊपर बेस्ड है आर के नारायण his works depict the social context and everyday life of the characters who are pre eminently indian 
he is well known for his simplicity in prose style that is the introduction of the writer rk narayan he is a south indian okay na naam se pata chalta hai narayan hai na anna these are the people who belongs to south india okay they are tamil writer aur english mein bhi translation karte hain wo log unka sabse famous hai wo guide jo movie pe upar based hai hai na aur wo social life bahut dikhate hain is that clear what we are going to discuss in this story this is one of the most interesting story from malgudi days written by rk narayan what the writer is saying that is the most interesting story and i hope you would also take interest when you would uh, we can say uh, listen from me the, about the story it is a story about a boy named swami who is afraid of sleeping alone in darkness that is a story of a boy whose name is swami and always have a fear he never ever wanted to sleep in uh, alone in the night that was the great fear for him he is mistaken to be a hero whose one desperate act leads to the imprisonment of the most notorious thief kya likha hai isme mistaken he was regarded as a hero by the people mistaken galti se use hero maan liya gaya actually he was not the hero the incident made him the hero <laughs> and i will tell you later on the which incident made him the hero balki wo nahi chahta tha ho gaya uske sath and the boy's father compels him to sleep in a dark room alone in order to teach him a lesson of courage for his future life and the father of the boy wanted to sleep his child alone because he wanted to uh, make him brave he wanted to make him fearless is it clear and he also wanted to make him strong to face his future in his future how would he, would he take decisions aise sab kuch karne ke liye uske father ne usko compel kiya pressure dala us pe that he would sleep in the night alone in the night and the boy has a nightmare bhayanak sapna hota hai in which he is chased by a tiger and awakens only to find himself lonely and sees something moving down which turns out to be a burglar wo ek vision dekhta he had a nightmare in which he had seen that a tiger is chasing him but it was not the tiger it was the reflection of something else and that was the burglar and he what did he do with him we will discuss so now dear children let's get ready for the chapter a hero for swami events took an unexpected turn the writer is the first sentence of the chapter tells us lot of things and we can understand by reading the first sentence unexpected turn events the incident which has taken unexpected turn that you think you should think about the turn that is not in your favor that is in your against father looked over the newspaper he was reading under the hall lamp and said what the father was it was the scene of the night or we can say evening how can you say it was the scene of the night because under the hall lamp light din mein to nahi jalti na bahar agar main padha raha hu tum logo ko to light mein nahi padha raha na to he was reading the newspaper swami listen to this who was listening this swami what means he he addressed the swami swami listen to this who addressed father addressed the swami swami listen to this news is to hand of the bravery of a village lad that is the news which is related related about the bravery of a village lad lad matlab the boy who while coming home by the jungle path returning what from where he was coming from the jungle path jungle way so jungle se hota hua came face to face with a tiger and he encountered or we can see he faced with a tiger who came in front of him a tiger the paragraph described the fight of the boy had with the tiger and his flight up a tree where he stayed for half a day 
till some people came that way and killed that tiger. What was the description? What was the narration? What was the, we can say, report of the paragraph that the boy fight with the tiger and he had fly, or we can say fly, uh, 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 we can say fly up on the tree till afternoon. मतलब बच्चे ने लड़ाई की फाइट टाइगर से हो सकता है लड़ाई नहीं की हो टाइगर से लड़ाई करना आई थिंक इट इज आल्सो वेरी डेंजरस तो बच्चा लेकिन वो एक पेड़ पे चढ़ गया एंड व्हाट हैपेंस टिल हाफ ऑफ द डे ही वाज देयर व्हेन सम पीपल केम देयर ओके ना एंड दे किल्ड द टाइगर दैट वाज द वी कैन से डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द पैराग्राफ किसका पैराग्राफ था दैट वाज द पैराग्राफ ऑफ न्यूज़पेपर Who was telling this story? Father was telling this story. To whom he was telling? He was telling to his child named Swami. And what was the reply of Swami? अभी ये normal conversation हो रहा है इसी में फंसेगा वो. It was a normal conversation and that he will be cracked on. Okay. After reading it through, father looked at Swami fixedly and asked. कभी कभी क्या होता है? When you see, if we are studying something, if we are reading something, we are also looking here and there. Because he wanted, we wanted to attract them towards us in that same way. Father was also doing the same thing. He was reading. Father looked at Swami fixedly and asked, "What, what do you say to that?" Father asked about the report to Swami. He asked a question to Swami. If you would be in this condition, what would you say? Otherwise, what is your reply about this news? To whom did he ask? Swami. Swami said, "I think he must have been a very strong and grown-up person." <laughs> What was the reply of Swami? He was saying that if a person is going to face with the tiger, he must have been very strong. He must have been very powerful. He must have very very adult or even a grown-up person. Not at all a boy. बच्चा तो नहीं हो सकता वो. How could a boy fight a tiger? Swami said, "It is impossible for a boy to fight with a tiger." You think you are wiser than the newspaper? Who said this? Father said. Father said, "You think you are wiser than the newspaper?" Whom, Swami? Father sneered. A man may have the strength of an elephant and yet to be a coward. Karagi. If you are having a courage, you can be like an elephant. You can uh, you can have a uh, power of elephant, or maybe you can be a cow. Cow can be also a king. Whereas another may have the strength of conjupectu, uh, conjupectu. But if he has courage, he can do anything. That means, can I say that you can have more power in you? But what will you have to do? What will you have to do? Means. ए पर्सन हु इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम द डिजीज हो सकता है कि कोई बंदा ऐसा हो कि उसको एक कुछ डिजीज से टीबी वगैरह इनसे पीड़ित हो बट इफ ही हैज ए करेज ही कैन डू एनी थिंग लेकिन यदि उसके पास हिम्मत है इफ हैज ए करेज ही कैन डू यानी कह रहा है कि वट इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इन मैन स्ट्रेंथ और करेज स्ट्रेंथ बहुत होती है लेकिन हिम्मत नहीं होती करने की तो क्या करेगा वो दैट इज करेज इज इंपॉर्टेंट Courage is everything. Strength and age are not important. Father is saying that father was totally against the Swami. Swami was saying that he was must he must have been a grown up person. Father was saying no, you are wrong. If you are having a courage, you can do each and everything. Strength and age are secondary. First is courage. I think you are getting that. Swami disputed the theory. How can it be, Father? Suppose I have all the courage. What can I do if a tiger should attack me? Theory को थोड़ा dispute किया उसने. Roka. कह रहा है कि how can it be possible, Father? Suppose that I am having the courage. But if I would face a tiger, what can I do? कह रहा है मेरे अंदर courage है. हो सकता है. But अगर tiger मेरे सामने आ जाए तो मैं क्या कर सकता हूँ? Live alone strength. Can you prove you have courage? पापा तो उसको लाना चाहते हैं ना कह रहा है कि छोड़ो फॉरगेट अबाउट स्ट्रेंथ लेट इट गॉन एंड यू प्रूव दैट यू आर हैविंग कैरेज हु सैड फादर 
Let me see if you can sleep alone tonight in my office room. That was the bet. If you are having a carries, you should sleep one night in my office room. Alone. Here kisne bola? Father ne. He let me see if you are able to sleep in my office room only for one night. A frightful proposition. Iske liye tha ye? That was for Swami. He was totally frightened. Swami thought. Swami thought. He had always slept with his granny. Granny means? Granny means grandmother. Got it? Is that clear? And sneered. Spoke in taunting way. That's why he taunt karte na kisi pe. Is tri kaise? Granny. In the passage and any change in this arrangement. Kaira ki... You know, writer is saying that Swami used to sleep with his granny and he never ever wanted to change this condition. So, kept him trembling and awake all night. If somebody will not allow to, uh, him to do that, if somebody will disturb him sleeping with his granny, that means he would be trembling and awake all night. He would not sleep easily and he would also be trembling. He hoped at first that father was only joking. At first what was uh, running in his uh, mind? He was thinking that father is only joking with me. He is not serious. He mumbled weakly. Mumbled means spoke quietly. Thoda sa bola. Yes. And tried to change the subject. Usne ha kar diya. Father ne kaha, can you sleep in my office room? Father asked him, can you sleep in my office room? Then he, he was thinking, my, fa my father is making a, cracking jokes with me. That's why he said yes. And what happened? Chalaki Dekhoski. He also tried to change the topic. He said very loudly and with a great deal of enthusiasm. Utsa. Excitement. He said very loudly and great deal of enthusiasm. Who said very loudly? Swami. And what did he say? We are going to admit even elders in our cricket club thereafter. What he was saying? He was saying that we are going to admit elders, so Badel or Kiladi, we are also admit them in our cricket club. We are buying brand new bats and balls also. He wanted to change the topic. Our captain has asked me to tell you. And who has asked me? Who was saying these words? Swami. He was saying that our captain has asked me to tell you. We will see about it later. Father cut it. Father Nika, let's forget it. We will discuss about this later on. You must sleep along hereafter. Karaki, I am just saying to you that uh, you should sleep alone. Swami realized that the matter had gone beyond his control. What did Swami realize? Ki this is this the matter which he is which he wanted to change. That is not in his control. Uske control se bahar se laga What matter? Ek raat office mein sone wala. From a challenge, it had become a plan command. Challenge se, isme chala gaya hai? Command mein chala gaya. Pahle challenge tha, that was a challenge for Swami. But that is, is the, that this is the order of the father. He knew his father. A tenacity such a moment. Uske father ki tenacity ko pata tha usko. Dridh the ho. Ni baat ke upar. Ek dam se. I hope you are getting this chapter. Few words are also there. You can see the last of the, we can say, uh, chapter. Determination. What was the determination of the father? What? Ki Swami should sleep in the office room. From the first of the next month, I will sleep alone, father. Swami said ki, next month ki first se mein suna suna kar do. No. You must do it now. Father replied him, no. You are not allowed to do that. You must do it now. It is disgraceful sleeping beside granny or mother like a baby. <laughs> this is not good. You are, a, you are going to be young. And this is very bad that you are sleeping with your granny or uh, mother. That is disgraceful. You are in the second form. Tum second form mein ho, means class. And I don't at all like the way you are being brought up. 
Your upbringing is like that. I don't like that. He said and look at his wife. जब उसने बोला, when father was rebuking Swami, जब उसको रिब्यूक कर रहा था, he was also watching towards his wife. अपनी वाइफ की तरफ भी देख रहा था. क्या हो रहा है यहाँ पे? The father was not saying to Swami. Father was indirectly saying to his wife कि ये सब तुम्हारे कारण हो रहा है. ये बच्चा बिगड़ रहा है. Who was rocking the cradle? और वो cradle को रोक कर रही थी, हिला रही थी. झूलना तो पालना. Why do you look at me while you say it? She asked. Then his mother, means Swami's mother, replied to, to her husband. Ki when you are saying these words to him, why are you looking at me? Mera kya fault hai? I hardly know anything about the boy. Hardly is a negative meaning. Hardly so hota hai, wo negative meaning deta hai. Badi muskil se mein is bachche ke baarem jaanti. Yani mujhe matlab nahi isse. Why are you looking at me? Who said? The mother said to her husband no no i don't mean you father said father ne ka no no mera ye matlab nahi tha if you mean that your mother is spoiling him tell her so ab dono husband aur wife mein jhagda ho gaya if you mean she is the responsible person of spoiling swami is your mother matlab uski dadi his wife saying to him means kisko bol rahi hai swami ki mother swami ke papa ko bol rahi hai ki agar aisa hai to main responsible nahi hu aapki mother hai matlab iski dadi hai and don't look at me she said and turn away kaha mujhe tarah mat dekho and she had gone from that place swami's father sat gloomily gazing at the newspaper on his lap gloomily matlab tha dukhi man se baith gaye gaze ka matlab hota hai ek tak dekhna stare S T A R E stare as a gazing on his lap उसकी गोद में पड़ा था पेपर he prayed that his father might lift the newspaper once again to his face so that he might slip away to his bed who was praying that Swami Swami was praying that his father must taken must have taken the newspaper once again to his face अपने चेहरे पे न्यूज पेपर ले आए सो दैट आई कैन गो फ्रॉम दैट प्लेस और आई वुड स्लीप जस्ट विद इन सेकेंड सो दैट आई कैन नॉट बी कॉल्ड बाई माई फादर एज इफ इन आंसर टू द प्रेयर फादर द न्यूज पेपर एंड हेल इट बिफोर इज फेस अपने चेहरे पे लगा दिया फादर ने एंड स्वामी रोज साइलेंटली एंड टिप टोड टिप टोड का मतलब होता है ऐसे बिना आवाज के चलना बेड इन पैसेज पैसेज भी चला गया ग्रेनी वॉज सिटिंग अप इन हर बैड कौन बैठा हुआ था बैड पे ग्रेनी एंड रिमार्क और बोली वो आर यू ऑलरेडी फीलिंग स्लीपी अपने पोते को बोली क्या तुम स्लीपी फील कर रहे हो सो हो गए अभी डोंट यू वॉन्ट ए स्टोरी तुम्हें स्टोरी नहीं चाहिए क्या सुनता था वो स्टोरी सुनता था अपने दादी से स्वामी मेड विद गेस्टिकुलेशन टू साइलेंस इज ग्रेनी अपनी दादी की तरफ इशारा किया चुप रहो हु मेड दिस स्वामी बट दैट गुड लेडी सो नथिंग लेकिन उसने ध्यान नहीं दिया सो स्वामी थ्रू हिमसेल्फ ऑन इज बैड एंड पुल द ब्लैंकेट ऑन इज फेस स्वामी तुरंत अपने आप को बैड पे ले गया था और चेहरे चेहरा ढक लिया कंबल से इज द क्लियर हु डिड दिस Swami and who was unaware about this incident? Granny. Granny को पता ही नहीं था वो क्या रहा है? कह रही है तुम ये story नहीं सुनोगे सो रहे हो तो Swami ने कहा चुप रहो मतलब आतों से सारा किया और वो bed पे चला गया सुनने के लिए. So students, आज ये यहाँ तक ही होगा. Got it? I hope you have understood that. Any doubt? Any query? You can ask me anytime. I am here for you. Got it? Okay, bye.